Welcome to another moment in Saudi Guy Forum. Here we're going to be looking at a question on that Faraday, like, like we promise. So the question here says that a current is passed through three electrolytic cells connected in series containing solutions of silver triazonitrate 5, copper 2 tetraozosulfate 6, and brim respectively if 20 grams of copper of copper are deposited in the second electrolytic cell calculate mass of silver deposited in the first cell and the volume of chlorine liberated in the third cell at 17 degree celsius and 800 millimeter mercury so we have our relative atomic mass of silver, copper, and Faraday, um, one Faraday, and then we have our molar volume. So if you look at this very well, we find out that there's something we need to, we're going to start by getting the quantity of electricity that is passed, and that was passed through all of them. So this quantity of electricity is the only hint, the only source to get that is this 20 grams that we have. Of the copper. Now we know that for um, copper, which is that valent electron, um, uh, that valent element or metal, we have to give us the positive copper. We get two electron. So what it means here is that for For C three five grams of what copper to require two times column. So now to twenty grams, twenty grams of copper will then require. over 63.5 times 20 over 1. 20 over 1. So um, by multiplying to we we'll have we we'll have 60787 column of electricity. That is the quantity of electricity that we need. Now with this quantity of electricity now We'll be able to solve the rest of the questions. So um, we've we'll been able to get the quantity of energy that is passed, the same quantity of energy that was passed through this and that. So in that case, now let's go down to start with there. We're going to start from the silver. We're going to start from the silver. We know that silver is univalent. Univalent. We have our silver, so what it means is that to deposit the mass deposited, we know that um, nine six five zero zero column of electricity will give us um, one o eight grams of what of silver. So this one. Six zero seven eight seven. What do we then give us? What would that one give us? And so what it will give us will then be that will give us equal to grams of silver. So, and the next one we are going to look at, the next one we are going to look at is say, that of the second one, the, second, say the volume of chlorine liberated. Now for, um, now for chlorine to be liberated, for chlorine to be liberated, what chlorine we need, um,
no? So for coding to be liberated, what you need is a two um, two electrons. That is to get chlorine molecule because the two chlorine at atom will come together. You need one electron. Losing it needs to lose one electron to get one chlorine atom. That means for us to get one a chlorine molecule, we need two atoms of chlorine. That is why we have two electrons here. So in that case now, um, since we have already established this, the quantity of uh, the volume of chlorine liberated here at this particular temperature we have with then be um, two. We know that will give us will be equal to um, All right, um, we, we liberate at STP, we have our molar volume, which is. So, um, the volume, we have here molar volume, is the volume of every gas at uh, STP. All gas is the molar volume. The all gas is at STP, according to our address, is 22.4 GM cube. That is too far ahead, we require to re release this one, gm cube of what? Of chlorine. Of chlorine. So, so what it means here is that two times, then the other value that we have, our other value is, Will give us two two point four. All right. So what we divide that we have our value to be what seven point zero five five. One dm cube. That is the volume of um, oxygen uh, high chlorine that will be liberated at this particular um, time. So if we convert it to cm cube, or we have a seven zero five five point one cm cube. That is what we have. So the next thing now we know that um, to get what we will have at STP. The volume that we have at STP, then all we have to do is to so at STP we're going to use the general gas law. So where this one stands for the temperature, the initial temperature we have the volume. This volume is what um, the pressure is eight hundred millimeter mercury. This other one is cm cube, and our time, the time here is seventeen plus. That will give us zero. This will give us a zero. Carry one, we have a six, seven, eight, and then we have two degree. No, 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 no. It's carrying this time. So the other temperature, V2, we are looking at, we say is what? The volume, the one we don't know. And the pressure, our pressure here is what? Millimeter. Mercury and our time here, temperature is what? 27K. So, this is what we're going to use to get the work done. So, when we substitute, if we substitute, what we have here will be for our V1, we have 
mu1 is divided by our time, which is 2, 290K, 290 Kelvin, our temperature, sorry, equal to volume, the one we don't know, times our pressure over our temperature. So, um, excuse me. So, now we can cross multiply. To cross multiply, we have. Two ninety equal to our V two then will be equal to all over two ninety. So so we multiply through what we have will be six six nine nine one cm cube. This is the volume of chlorine that will be liberated. Thank you so much for being part of it.